Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to understand the cause of earthquake. Collision of earth plates cause earthquakes. Now how exactly the plates can collide? There are many different ways in which plates can collide and they can have different consequences. So different types of plate boundaries are formed due to relative movement of the earth plates. Now, we will look at the various ways by which two plates can collide. So the first way by which two plates can collide is, let us say this is one plate, this is another plate. So plate 1 and plate 2. So the first way that is possible is that, the two plates separate away from each other. So when the plates slide apart from each other, this type of plate boundary is known as divergent boundary. The word divergent means what? Something which starts from one point and then diverges off and then spread out. So here also the two plates are spreading away from each other. So in this case, what will happen? When the two plates are separating out, this can lead to the formation of a new ocean basin. So here, the space which is created in between, that can lead to the formation of a new ocean basin. And this basin can expand and finally, the plate area can increase, resulting in shallow earthquakes. Not very deep earthquakes, but shallow earthquakes can happen as a result of divergent plate boundary. Why are these called plate boundaries? Because you will see that in all these collision between the plates, the boundaries are the most impacted. So whenever two plates collide, the whatever is formed that is called plate boundary and these are different types of plate boundaries. The next type that happens is the convergent type. Now here it is just going to be the opposite. That is two plates, they will slide and they will come and strike each other. So when plates slide towards each other, that is called a convergent plate boundary. So in this case, it results in the closure of ocean basins because you see what, what happened in this case. Initially, some ocean basin or some water body would have existed here, but due to this type of collision, it, re, it led to the closure of the ocean basin. It can occur at continent to continent boundaries. Now, when two continents are separated by an ocean basin. So, if there this kind of collision takes place, then uh, it can result in the closure of the ocean basins and this can result in intense earthquakes. So, this type of uh, plate boundary is destructive one because this can cause a lot of destruction. So this is a destructive plate boundary. But in case of divergent uh, plate boundary, this is considered to be constructive. Why constructive? Because this results in the formation of ocean basins. So it, it leads to the construction of something. But in this case, it leads to the destruction of ocean basin. At the same time, due to this type of collision, the earthquake which results is also intense, which in turn can also cause severe destruction. The third type of plate boundary is the transform boundary. So what happens in transform boundary is the plates neither come closer nor they go away from each other. They just slide past away each other, something like this. So their boundaries just strike against each other. So here the plates are neither created, nothing gets created, nothing gets destroyed. Like in the earlier two cases, here ocean basin gets created, here ocean basin gets destroyed. Here nothing gets created, nothing gets destroyed, but this can result in strong earthquakes because the boundaries are actually passing over each other. So they are actually striking very hard with each other. So this can actually result in uh, a sudden shaking of the earth because earth plates are nothing but they form the crust. So when they are moving so hard, so it is definitely going to cause a lot of movement of the earth. So this can result in strong earthquakes. So these are uh, uh, the three important types of plate boundaries which are formed due to movement of the plates with respect to each other. Now, now that you have understood what causes earthquake, so can you tell, just looking at the entire picture of the earth, which areas do you think are going to suffer or, or are going to be more prone to earthquake? 
So looking at the entire concept of how earthquakes are taking place, it is taking place due to collision of the plates, collision of the earth plates. Now looking at this picture, what do you think that which are the areas where more earthquakes will happen? Exactly, at the plate boundaries because if you see any two plates, just consider any two plates, if these two plates tend to collide, so the maximum impact will be at their boundaries. Similarly, if these two plates collide, the maximum impact will be along this boundary. So the plate boundaries are those areas which are more likely to get impacted by earthquakes because it might happen that this uh, plate and this plate collided, but the central part of the plates might not get that much impact, but the boundaries are definitely going to get impacted. So the, the boundaries are going to feel the shake all the more. Right. So if you look at the places which are located at the plate boundaries, they are more prone to earthquakes. So plate boundaries are more prone to earthquakes. So let us look at India. So if you look at the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate, this is the Eurasian plate and this is Indian plate. So where is the boundary of the Indian plate? Here. Right. So this is the map of India as you can see. So this is the plate boundary correct this is the plate boundary so what do you think which are the places that are located near the plate boundary so if you see Jammu and Kashmir would be located somewhere here the northeast portions of India will be located here uh, uh, then the Himalayas located here Rajasthan Uttarakhand so these are the states which are going to be more impacted in India. So in India, which are the places that are going to be more impacted? The northeast states. So northeast states, Jammu and Kashmir, Rajasthan, Uttarakhand. So most of these places are located towards the northern half of the country. So the central part of the Himalayas. So these are some of the places which will be more prone to earthquakes. In fact, if you look at the location of uh, countries like Nepal, their location is such that they are very close to the uh, plate boundary and that is why the chances of earthquakes in these areas are more. So now that we have got an idea about which areas are more prone to earthquakes, some special precautions can be taken in those areas so that they can handle earthquakes in a little better way. So. Now, as I mentioned before, this is what happens at the boundaries. So the boundaries are the maximum impacted looking at this picture. So these kind of areas are known as weak zones or fault zones or seismic zones. So, so the areas which are more prone to earthquakes are called fault zones or seismic zones. So every in every country, the fault zones are identified and some preventions are taken so that Earthquakes cannot cause a lot of harm. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.